my dear teacher Ram Das wrote this beautiful book. How can I help? I don't remember so much, but I remember it was about the phenomenon of what we call sometimes the helper syndrome. The conditioned mind can find a very convincing strategy, a very convincing purpose to get away from that fear that is lurking in every human being, this fear of dissolution, the fear of losing control. So this fear which comes then with many accompanied or consequent feelings in one's life that are rather unpleasant to the separate entity, like sadness or frustration, anger, No one really wants to have those. So we tend to move away, look away from those so-called negative feelings. And create an identity, this helper syndrome that is very convinced that it needs to save the world, maybe needs to save everyone, needs to help. And that is, of course, beautiful to help our fellow friends. But the question is, is it coming from this openness, from this understanding, from this deep down knowing that actually it's okay. Essentially it's okay and from there we can go out and, and help in the dream so to speak. But if we believe that the dream is absolutely true and there is just this dream that this consciousness depends on the dream, depends on this body-mind, we will run away from this fear and from those negative feelings because this fear is this belief and this feeling that this dream experience of the avatar, this game, is real. So my body-mind is only there when there is this awareness and not the other way around. When I lose my body-mind, I lose awareness, I lose life. And everyone else around me as well. So we have to save everyone, we have to protect everyone. But it's not coming from freedom, and this is what the book is about. How can I help? Very often... 
and we may know such people and maybe we even find traces of that in ourselves or remember helping becomes a distraction from our own fear, from our own ignorance, from our own negativity. And we impose on everyone and everything around us that there is problems and that we need to solve them. And we may, if we're really deeply identified with that, we may not even ask or notice what the people really need we just go into situations and and or to people and just try to help them and they may even don't even want to help This is this power of the game, of the illusion that the mind, the conditioned mind can create any convincing strategy. To get away from this fear. And as the mind is a little bit tricky, because it has these convincing stories. Checking the state of our heart, so to speak. Can be of great help to make sure that we don't act, that we don't speak, that we don't even feel out of this contraction, out of this protection, out of this fear, out of this pain, that maybe when we notice that it is the case that the contraction is here, that we have closed ourselves from ourselves, so to speak, that it's maybe sometimes better to stop and to wait until openness comes back. In a way, that's what Ram Das discovered in this book, that simple realization that we may all have at some point that we really can only help anyone if we help ourselves first. It's like this instruction on the plane when the oxygen masks come out, hopefully we never experience that. But in theory, to first put the mask on ourselves and then <laughs> share with the loved ones around us or help the others around us to really help. We have to make sure that we don't filter in our own sense of lack, our own ignorance, our own needs.
Well, this is kind of, and and probably all of us have experienced that. It's kind of unpleasant if someone wants to force you to help you and you feel somehow, wait a minute, something's not quite right. Is this coming from the right place, so to speak? Can we improve the silence? Can we improve the situation? Can we help this person when we are ourselves still? In some moments, in this moment where the situation occurs, kind of locked in the old habit of a separate me. So it's a little bit of a different form of self-inquiry. You just check in here and then. To stop for a brief moment and to check how is my heart now. And when we're not very accustomed with that checking, it might take a, a few moments or a few minutes to really not to think how my heart is, but to really see, perceive from the source, to see the state of my heart. Am I open? It's a great way, in my experience, to counteract the tricky, conditioned mind, having very convincing stories about where we at, to speak. And when we check and we feel, yeah, I'm open, my understanding is expressing itself. The light of consciousness is shining through, so I can trust my avatar, I can trust my body, my mind, my feelings much more, so I can be of help. Of course, if it's required or if it's my wish in some situations or when we share this understanding that we are deepening all together in all of you at least those that I that I know for a while have such a deep understanding of what you are, understanding and feeling of our shared being. It's very evident in our meetings. So out of that, it's very likely that when we meet friends, when we go to work, this understanding that brings about happiness and alleviates the suffering, it would be strange if we would not 
find some impulse to share that with our loved ones in some way or other maybe not everyone is so foolish and tries to speak about it directly like me it can be in many ways it can be through music or touch and art and our simple workplace or also through words when they are required or when they are appreciated so let's make sure that we share our understanding and our talents our love from an open heart so to speak because we all know also in the spiritual world sometimes some people who got it apparently can be very very insisting somehow and and it's so important suddenly to it ooh, oh it somehow we're like i thought it's uh, all okay why why is this getting so somehow the life can suddenly depend on the perspective of truth that words can share Often from the good intention, because we really wish to help. But if we fall back in the old habit, and it can very easily happen, especially when we start speaking about the truth, that the old habit of a separate me sneaks in if we maybe don't get straight away the confirmation or the recognition or the appreciation of our sharing we might fall back and then we and then we have to catch to catch ourselves if there is a contraction a contraction back into a separate me and then often it's better to pause 